Hi everyone, uh, we continue our lesson. That's the chapter 3, 3.1. Okay, hope you can print out for the fun science 3 students and also fun science 1, you take out the notes. Okay, now we continue our 3.1. The topic is a magnetic effect of the current carrying conductor. For this one topic, I told you already, there's a less of the calculation. So for the first one, we learn about electromagnet. Okay, when you see the electromagnet, the words, there's a combination with the electric and also magnet. So that means they must relate it with the electric and also the magnet together. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, now they explain what it means of the electromagnet. They can be produced. Okay, electromagnet can be produced by conducting the current through the conductor. So that means you want to produce the electromagnet. The first thing you must have the current, then followed by the conductor okay let's see the diagram here okay diagram exactly follow your notes huh? okay they got one nail the join with the wire coin of the wire then coin of the wire the join with the battery okay when i just on the battery so you find it the current will start to flow through the wire now the wire you are worn together with the conductor so for this one situation we will produce an electromagnet so that means now the this one nail will become magnet so this one magnet we cannot say there's a, a actually magnet we just call this an electromagnet another word we call it there's a temporary magnet so when the situation i off the battery so i take out the battery you find it there's a no current flow through the nail so this situation we just as a normal conductor so this one we call it electromagnet you want to produce electromagnet you must have the current flow through the conductor then this one electromagnet just become temporary only okay okay now we continue with the next one magnetic field okay when you got magnet surrounded sure got force is it that one we call magnetic field remember what we learned about the chapter 2 there's an electric uh, electric field electric field means the charge surrounded with the charge we got line is it the one we call electric field okay so magnetic field means surrounded with the magnetic object then we got the force so this one we call magnetic field so field everybody know there's a one region one area so now the definition a region where a bar magnet that experiences a magnetic force so we call it magnetic field okay so you can see a bar of the magnet okay surrounded with the bar of magnet we got magnetic field okay so this one magnetic field how to produce that's of forces the forces to pull to each other surrounded with the magnet so that one we call magnetic field okay now we go to draw the forces okay how we start to draw okay this one part is a north pole and another part is a south pole so from here we just draw both to come out okay after that the north want to go to find the south so that we turn this one also be turned here okay center we just draw circle only from north go to south from north go to south okay after you draw the line okay you must label the arrow because they also got direction okay the direction must from the north they go to south or start from the north after that from the south they will go in so the direction for the magnetic field there's a from the north then after that out from the north in to the south that one is the direction of the magnetic field okay now we following is a ferromagnetic material what means of ferromagnetic material they are material that attach to the magnet so anything that just attach to the magnet we call it as a ferromagnetic material so example for the nail for the iron uh, that all we call it ferromagnetic material okay now we need to see the magnetic effect of current so this one topic they're talking about the current how what situation the current will produce the magnet so from here we can separate by three three situation different type of the current that means different shape of the current the wire how to join that means we will produce a different shape of the magnetic field okay let's see the first one magnetic effect by the current the first situation is straight wire now there's a one straight wire then the current flow through then we need to see what we need to see the pattern of the magnetic field and also you need to find the direction how the magnetic field to flow okay go to left or go to right 
go up or go down. Okay, the next one is a single coin. Okay, when the current flow through the single coin. Single coin means when current is up, after that they come down. This one we call single coin. Okay, the next one is solenoid. Solenoid means one of the conductor, then the wire is turned. Won the conductor, that one we call solenoid. So we got three situations of the current, how to flow. Then we need to see what happened for the magnetic field, how they produce, and what is the pattern. Okay, so this one is the following. Okay, you can see the bottom here, the first one. Okay, the first one they show you there's a magnetic effect of the current. Okay, magnetic effect of the current means the pattern of the magnetic field produced by the current carrying conductor depends on the shape of the conductor used. That means we need to depend on conductor use, how we go to draw the pattern of the magnetic field. Okay, before I go through the magnetic effect of the current, I want you to see the diagram for the first diagram. The first diagram and also the second diagram. Let's see the first one, how they produce a magnetic field, electromagnet. The second one, how they go to draw, how the magnetic field arrow, they go to move. Okay, please see the diagram about. Finish. Okay, they want the diagram later. We need to draw also lah. Practice how to draw the magnetic field. Okay, now we continue with the first one. There's a current in a straight wire. How the current in the straight wire? You see the diagram a while. You see the diagram. You see the current how to flow. Okay, for the straight wire, the current now we just do the example is in and also out. Okay, the current is go down. Another one is current is move up. Okay, let's try you see the diagram, how the magnetic field pattern and also how the magnetic field diagram are uh, the direction. You see first. After you see the diagram, now we go and see the explanation. Okay, they say the magnetic field line that will concentrate to the circle round the wire carrying conductor. Okay, now this one is a circuit. Okay, the positive means the current start from here, they move until this part. Okay, until this part, we find the current is calm down. Okay, from here, they will produce a magnetic field. That means every part, they also can produce a magnetic field. So, we just go and see the, this part. Lah. Okay, for the straight wire, you find it, the magnetic field produced is a circle. Okay, there's a circle. After that, when they circle, we need to see what's the difference. You can refer the diagram. Center. The circle when starting they draw there's a closer. Okay. After when they draw more circle, you find it the circle become bigger. This means what? When you closer with the wire, your magnetic field is a strong. So when you far away already, you find it the magnetic field become weak. So remember when you draw the line become closer means there's a strong. Okay, now we know there's a go down uh, go downwards the current. Okay, how we know the direction of the field around the wire? So this one we need to know the direction. This one direction is either clockwise or either anti-clockwise. So just got two only. Now we need to learn how we go to find out the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, so from here they got introduced two of the method. How we go to find? Let's see the first one. First one is a Maxwell screw rule. Okay, you can through the diagram in your notes. You also can through the diagram I show you what is a Maxwell school rule. Okay, after you see the diagram, so we just understand about the rules, how we're using the screw. Okay, when you want to type, you want to make the screw become tight, how you go to turn? We turn clockwise. Agree? You turn clockwise, so that means your screw finally will go in the wood. Okay? So that means this situation, the screw is represent current. They go in. Okay, how you go to turn? You go to rotate the screwdriver, is it? You go to rotate by clockwise. So that means the turn for clockwise means that one is a direction of the magnetic field. So that means when you just turn to clockwise, the situation is 
the screw will come down means the current is come down. So this one situation is clockwise. Okay, then we clockwise. Okay, so now we go to opposite. Now the situation is current is come out. Okay, the current is out. Okay, how are we going to draw the direction? So you're using your Maxwell screw rule again. Now the screw want to up. How to make the screw do up? So you need to turn anti-clockwise. When you just turn anti-clockwise, you find it, the screw is come up. So this one situation also same like this one. The screw, that means this one is current. Current is out. How you want to turn, make the current to come out? The answer is anti-clockwise. Okay, so this one is anti. This one is clockwise. Okay, this one is the first method. First method, we're using the Maxwell school rule. Okay, now we got B. B is the second method. That's a right hand grip rule. That means you need to use your right hand to represent the current and also represent the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, you can see the diagram through the notes. I also will show you here uh, how you show the uh, pattern. How you show your right hand grip to show the magnet, uh, to show the magnetic field, and also to show the current. See a while first. Okay, so the diagram they show you is a thumb. Okay, right hand grip rule. Right hand, I don't use the left hand. Right hand. Okay, now the thumb. When you take out the thumb, the thumb means current. How the current to flow? Okay, if this one, the current is up, is it? So we point our thumb is up. Okay, now the finger. The four finger here is represent the magnetic field. So from here, I assume this one is the thing I hold it. So this one, I hold it. So this one is current, is it? Up. Okay, now you see my finger. Okay, my finger is moved from here, then move to come in. So this situation is anti-clockwise. Agree? Okay, I grip. I grip anti-clockwise. So this one situation, I can say magnetic field is anti-clockwise, then the current is moved up. Okay, I can try this part. Now the current is down, so your thumb must be turned, become down. Okay, when I turn to down, Okay, this one is my finger. So my finger must be grip. Okay, how I grip? I grip follow the clockwise. Okay, I grip follow the clockwise. Means the finger here is a magnetic field. There's a flow follow the clockwise direction. So this one is a second method I want to introduce. So normally we're using our thumb to find out the magnetic field direction. Okay, now, the following that I explained for you. Direction of the electric field. Okay, the current is go down. Current go down. After that, the thumb should be clockwise. So after that, you need to draw. You draw the circle. Make sure you draw the circle. The center must be closer. Okay, center, you can draw the circle become closer. Then after that, the further one, you can draw become bigger. Okay, further, wider for the circle. So that one means they are far away current. Okay, they are far away from the wire current. So the magnetic field become big. Okay, now the map of the magnetic field. Okay, sometimes the situation, the question they will say, oh, now the current is up. Now the current is down. No, they're using the drawing to represent. Okay, now you see the map. The map to show you uh, they got one of the current pass through. After that, you see they got circle, is it? Okay, surrounding the circle, can you see the arrow? Actually, that one is a compass. So that means when I put the compass surrounded with the current carrying conductor, you can find a different direction. Okay, let's see the diagram for the compass if I put around with the current. Okay, we need to see the diagram. Okay, now you will ask, how the compass to rotate? 
rotate clockwise or rotate anti-clockwise because the question never mentioned the current now is up or in they just draw one cross and one dot is it okay now we go to introduce cross and dot actually is what's the meaning okay now i want you to refer one of the arrow that's a simple arrow on it you refer the diagram first Okay, finish to refer. Now I draw the arrow to board. Okay, let's see here. This one is the arrow what you see. Okay, now assume you are standing in front of the arrow. Okay, when the arrow want to shoot to you, actually what which one part you can see first? You can see it's a head of the arrow, is it? Means the shape exactly like this. Agree? There's a one dot come to you okay if you stand behind if you stand behind the arrow what you can see when you see the arrow far away from you okay you cannot see the dot is it you can see the back side the back side actually is a one of the cross okay so that means the situation is when i see the cross mean i see the the arrow back when i see the dot means the arrow head okay now so the situation is when I find it the arrow is come to you I can see this point okay so when I say the arrow is far away from you then what you can see this one okay the arrow must be come like this then you see the dot when the arrow is far away from you what you can see you can see the cross because there's a back so now the question they just want to say the paper in and out by using these two symbol to represent okay this one when you see the dot means the current is come to you come to you means what come to you you standing the paper at the bottom the circuit is here come to you means up you are standing you see so the arrow is come out that means come to you okay far away from you means the car the current is go down go down means far away from you okay you can see up and down you can see left and right so it's come to you means left come to the right okay if you are far away from you from the right you go to the left that one is far away okay so from here we just using come to you and far away to represent the current okay now we go and see this situation okay cross cross means far away from you because you see the back side far away from you dot come to me okay now we're using our right hand grip okay cross cross means okay we take like this come to me or far away cross means far away so far away far away how the magnetic field to cross clockwise okay clockwise so that means if i draw the line draw the circle I draw this a clockwise first. Okay. Now when I want to put the compass, I want to put the compass surrounded with this one current. Okay, means there is a represent magnetic field direction. Okay, so I put four, four location. Clockwise. Okay, clockwise means this one will go to right. This one will come down. This one go to left, this one go to up. Okay, so this one surrounding one, you go to draw lah. A little bit sanged one. Okay. This one. Okay, so this one is the compass surrounded with the current. So they represent the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, so this one is a cross. Okay, when I say that is the dot, dot means what? Dot means the head of the arrow come to you. Okay, come to you means you take your thumb, point to yourself. When you point to yourself, you find it, your finger is how? Your finger is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise to turn, anti-clockwise. So that means this one is, you draw one of the circle, anti-clockwise. Okay, now anti clockwise, then we draw about the compass surrounded. 
Okay, this one is anti-clockwise. Then we draw the overall. Oh, this one it come. Okay, this one is a compasses surrounded with the magnetic field. Okay, so this one is how we're using the thumb to represent the magnetic field current. Remember, cross far away. Far away means you didn't pour yourself, you pour your friend. When you pour your friend, you find it as a clockwise. Okay, come to you means you pour yourself. Take your thumb to pour yourself. After that, clockwise. Okay, so this one is what I want to show you how to draw. Okay, first one is a single wire. Now we need to see is a coin, single coin. Okay, let's see the single coin first. Now we go to the B. There's a current in the single coin. Current in the single coin means, okay, now the current is up. Okay, after pass, then go down. So this one we call single coin. Just now, just one straight wire. So this one single coin means they go up, they go down. Okay, then we put together. So now the situation we got, the current is come to you and also far away from you. Now we need to draw the magnetic field. Okay, when we draw the magnetic field, okay, we know these two is a different direction of the current. Okay, these two magnetic, the, the current should be opposite direction. So we find it the magnetic field. It cannot be crossed together because you are moving in opposite direction. Okay, how we draw the magnetic field? Okay, first one we know clockwise and anti clockwise first. Okay, this one is a clockwise. Okay, because there's a far away from you. Okay, this one is a anti clockwise. Okay, now we will separate at the center because this one is a two current opposite direction. So we're going to separate first. Okay, they never touch to each other. Okay, now I want to continue to draw our circle. Okay, when I draw the circle, this one also draw the circle. Okay, I want to know the direction. Okay, this one is a clockwise, this one is an anti clockwise. Okay, so from here we go and see uh, at the center. Okay, at the center, this one is uh, anti clockwise, this one is a clockwise. So we find it at the center, they are in opposite direction. Can you see they're in opposite direction? Because this one current is come down, this one current, sorry, this one is here. Okay, not opposite, there's the same. Okay, can you see at the center, I find it, this one is come down, this one also come down, yes or no? Okay, when the current opposite direction, I know you need to separate, but now I want you to see it's a magnetic field direction. Can you see the magnetic field direction become same? Both also rotate, come down the arrow. When they both also rotate to come down, means this one direction is the same. And also, you are produce the strongest magnetic field. Okay, strongest magnetic field because the direction becomes the same. When stronger magnetic field, what happened? Before that, I told you already. Circle. When they become stronger, what happened? They are closer. The line when you draw, they become closer. So that means I need to draw the center, this part, this situation. The circle must be closer. Okay, then the outside how? The outside, we went and check. The outside, this one is up. This one is up. So until this part, can you see? Two arrow is opposite direction. When two arrow is opposite direction, means the outside, you are not stronger, you are weak because you are opposite direction. Okay, the center, the arrow is the same direction. You down, I also down. But until here, until here opposite again. So until here, your circle become further. I just want the center, the circle become closer. 
because the direction of the magnetic field is the same, so it becomes the straw. Okay, I just say magnitude, I never say current. Current, you are magnetic in opposite direction. When you are magnetic in opposite direction, means you cannot cross over each other. Okay, so I redraw again the magnetic field. Now we go to redraw again the magnetic field. Eh? Okay, center become closer because you are strong. So we not draw exactly circle. We draw the center become closer. Can you see my center line become closer? Okay, this one also same. Okay, you need to draw the center is a closer. Okay, so after that, here we cannot crash. So we just we just draw the line curve. Okay, we never touch because we put the center line to separate each other. Okay, after that we need to draw the arrow. So this one is a clockwise. Okay, this one is a anti. Anti also is come down. So this part we call it strong region. Okay, the outside one. This one is up. So we call this one is a weak region. Okay, can you see the line? All the line is separate. The this part you draw yourself. Another part I draw myself. Then we never cross to each other. We just know the region. Okay, center is a strong region. Okay, outside there's a weak region. Okay, so this one is how we go to draw the magnetic field for the a uh, single coin when the current flow in. Okay, the same like just now. Now we just put two together only. Okay, so from here the A that explain for you. The pattern of the magnetic field at the center of the coin is straight line. Center is a straight line because you want to separate. Okay, then the field line around the two wires are in opposite direction. Two current move in opposite direction. Okay, finish. So this one is the drawing. This one later we still got continue to draw because another uh, topic, I mean the subtopic, they will talking about how to draw. Okay, now we go to third one. Third one is current in the sorry knot. Okay, remember I told you the sorry knot. Sorry knot is a wire coining. Okay, gurgle long wire. So from here now, when the wire they join become like this, after that they join with the power supply. So that means the current the moving in sorry knot. Okay, this one in sorry knot the same like the magnetic field of the magnet because the magnet we just put at the center. When the magnet put at the center, that means you cannot see the center got magnetic field line. If you got sorry knot, that means we can draw. Okay, how to draw? Center, we just draw the straight line. Okay, because we cannot see anything, they just got straight line. Okay, when come here, the same like the pattern of the magnet. Okay, sure got one of the part is a north, another part is a south. So from here, we need to turn. Okay, we need to turn. Okay, and after that, the center one, we just go to close it. Okay, you want to close it, then you go to close it. This one is a pattern of the, sorry, not. Okay, later, we need to know which one is the north, which one is the south. After that, we go to find out. Then after that, we draw the arrow. Okay, so later, we need to learn. Ah. So from here, we already explained about three situations of the current, how to flow, then how to draw the magnetic field. So the first one is a straight wire, the second one is a single coin, and the third is a solenoid. Okay, you can see the diagram. One of the pattern magnetic field produced by the solenoid is similar to the bar magnet. So I want you in the diagram, this diagram. Okay, this diagram, I want you go to labor the solenoid current how to flow. After that, I want you to show the circle there. The arrow, how the, uh, if I put the compass, you assume that two is a compass lah. How the direction of the compass, okay? How they go to rotate. Then the following is a bar of the magnet. So I want you to draw the magnetic field around with the bar magnet. So you can start now. Later I show you the answer.
complete your drawing now we continue with the drawing with the first one according to draw okay we need to see it's a positive and negative this has a positive so this has a negative so i find it the current should be up okay after pass through this one okay then down and up again so this one i can draw the current how to flow from here at the back then come down so this one is a current how to flow agree okay now from here we need to draw the direction of the compass how they show okay because we do know which part is a north which part is a south so we cannot draw first okay later we need to know how to find out north and also the south okay so from here i hold a while for this part i go to the magnetic uh, magnetic bar i call you to draw the magnetic field so this one we just draw first one straight line okay the next one we just draw curve so at the center we just join the circle okay don't cross the line okay you want to draw how big is up to you but we never cross the line okay finally we need to label arrow from the north go to the south okay so this one there's a magnetic field line okay finish now we go to this part okay right hand grip grew again when we apply to the solenoid before that i go through before that huh? before that this one is a current this one is a magnetic field yes or no okay now when you see the solenoid we reverse the concept okay this one is the thing you want to wound the wire sorry not okay now when i grip right hand to grip huh? okay you find it this one is my normally is a magnetic field is it no for the sorry not we take this one as a current okay now you go and see this part arrow in yes or no so now i represent the current now the current is grip the pad okay where is my thumb my thumb is go to left hand side so the thumb is represent what the thumb is represent north pole now north pole so if the current is come out so i grip like this when i grip like this can you see my thumb Let's go to right hand side so for this one situation when i grip the wire this one is represent my current so the thumb is go to left hand side so we understood this one is a north so understood another part should be the south okay using the grip <clears throat> you can refer the diagram here they show how to using the right hand grip rule for the sorry not i also will show you the diagram let's see the diagram okay understand because the diagram they show you already the finger is represent the current how the current to flow then the thumb is memma is represent by the north direction so from here we can down we can see here this is a north this is a south so we understood the current is how to, uh, the direction of the magnetic field is how to flow they must start from the north and by the south so from here the arrow must be come up okay so this one must be go in okay same like the center this one because they blocked by the bar if never blocked by the bar we also draw straight line then you see direction in north out okay if you put the compass here and back so you find it as same like this okay exactly same like the compass what we draw here okay so from here we go still got another method let like you to see north and south okay this one is a solenoid okay bar of the iron after that they got solenoid wire okay then the solenoid wire they label by the current how to flow okay if we don't want using the thumb okay you can using your concept okay if you stand here okay you see the notes if you stand here how you see the current to flow you stand at the side exactly 
This one is turning, is it? One of the coin. So you exactly see the coin. How the current to flow? Can you see there is a anti-clockwise? When there's an anti-clockwise means anti is a north. So if I put another coin, now you stand another side. You stand here. Can you stand here? Then you can find the wire is a clockwise. Okay, you stand here. This one is an anti. When you just stand another side, you find it there's a anti clockwise. So anti clockwise is a north. Another one should be the south. Okay, we just stand at the beside, uh, the at the end of the coin. Then you can see the current is how to flow. One is a clockwise, another one is an anti clockwise. So remember, the anti clockwise is a north. So, more easier, you don't need to memorize so many things, we're using the right hand grip. Then we also can find the answer. Okay, so this one is what I want to show you about the three situations. Okay, now the following is factor. How to make the magnetic field become stronger? Okay, the strength of the magnetic field becomes stronger. So now, they got four factors. Okay, let's see the first factor is the current. Sure, the current, because we're using this one, is it? I want to make the magnetic field become stronger. Sure, the current must be strong. Okay, so from here, the first factor, you must increase the current. Maybe I'm using more power supply. Okay, so you find it, the strength of the magnetic field becomes highest. The second one, number of turns. Number of turns, they're talking about solenoid. Lah. If you make the number of turns more, that means now more current pass through through the conductor. So that means they also will increase the number of turns. Uh, they will increase the strength of the magnetic field. Okay, third, they say the type of the material of the core. This one, the center bar. You want to turn that one. Okay, different material. Okay, let's see what material should be the best. Eh? Different material, the core have the different strength of the magnetic field. Okay, so now they introduce for you, soft iron core has the strongest magnetic field. Okay, soft iron core is a one of the material that's a easier become magnet and also easier to lose the magnet. So there's a suitable become electromagnet. Okay, the other also can. But the soft iron is a better. The other can, why? They also can become the magnet. But when you just off the current, maybe the steel magnet, they cannot lose too fast. But soft iron core can. When you just on, okay, the straightforward become magnet. Okay, when you just off the current, okay, now they become the normal iron. So from here, if the essay question they ask, which one call is easier to magnetize and demagnetize? Or you say easier to become the electromagnet. So you must put soft iron core. Okay? The reason is what? The reason is soft iron core easier to become temporary magnet. You also can say they're easy to magnetize and demagnetize. Later I will show you this word. Uh, the notes also got. Okay, now we go to fourth one. Fourth one is the shape of the iron core. Okay, shape also will affect the strength of the magnetic field. Let me draw first. Now we go and see the fourth factor. That's the shape of the core. Okay, this one we call U-shape. U-shape core. This one is a cone. Okay, so now we go and see the U-shape and core has a more stronger magnetic field compared with the straight iron core. Now we see, eh? so the wire when I just con, sorry not, sure one part is uh, uh, north, another part should be the south, is it? So if this one is a north, another part to a south, okay, what happens for the magnetic field? Magnetic field must be, okay, between the center, is it? So the magnetic field become like this, okay? They're at the center, okay? So from here, if using the core, north and south, how you draw the magnetic field? You draw like this. Is it? You draw like this. So you tell me which one becomes stronger. Sure, this one becomes stronger. Because you are closer. So from here, how to explain? We explain for the U-shape. They will concentrate magnetic field line. This one also can, but further a little bit. Lah. Okay? When further a little bit, maybe you will lose. Lah. 
okay you lost or you more energy to put it so from here u shape so from here they explain for you because the u shape iron core has two opposite pole as a result the magnetic field line are concentrated in the space between the pole okay these two we call pole they will concentrate at the center the magnetic field line so this one they will still need to pull turn okay so this one will be more stronger the strength okay so this one is a four factor current number of turn type of material and also the shape okay so from here the next page they ask why using the soft iron okay but not using the steel okay this one is a normally the question we are asked lah. why we using the soft never using the uh, the steel okay your reason is easily magnetized and demagnetized so this one is an essay question why we choose soft iron okay another one you also can say the suitable become temporary magnet for the soft iron core Okay, now we got experiment. You got factor, you should sure got experiment. So the experiment here, normally they're related by two types. First is current. Another one is the number of turn. Because these two will be easier to be controlled. We also can be repeated. Okay, if you say material, we just got one soft iron core is a better. The rest, we do know. So we cannot become the experiment. The following is a shape, U-shape. So another one, con. Then after that, no more idea. So that means your experiment at least got five repeated, is it? So from here we don't have, so we cannot create the experiment. So from here we just can create the experiment for the first one. That's a factor for the current. Okay, you can refer the experiment. Okay, first one they want to investigate the strength of the electromagnet and also the current. So from here hypothesis, which one become manipulate variable? Okay, strength of the magnetic field we cannot control by ourselves. There normally is a responding variable. So we can control by using the real start to control the current. So current become manipulate variable. Okay, from this one question, strength of the magnetic field we cannot see. Because see, all the strength becomes stronger. No, we must using something to represent. Okay, so from here, what you can write, your hypothesis, you still can write the strength of the electromagnet. Okay, for the aim, you still can write strength of the electromagnet variable. Okay, no problem. But until proceeding, no. Okay, we're using something to represent the strength of the magnetic field. Okay, so from here, they're using the pins. Number of the pin attract by the solenoid. That one represents the strength of the magnetic field. Means... When the soft iron core, when you just on the current, they attract more of the pin. When you just off the current, they drop back. So means now the strength of the magnetic field is very good. Okay, so we're using the number of pin to represent the strength. If you attract more, so you are good. Okay, if you attract less and also cannot release, means you are worse. In become the electromagnet okay so from here you see the manipulate variable there's a current responding is the strength of the electromagnet okay what should be constant the other factor must be constant so from here is a number of the constant okay apparatus what is the important apparatus okay I think I forget to draw in the diagram emitter please help me to draw the emitter in the diagram Okay, this one is your battery. Okay, emitter should be here. Okay, emitter, after that, you must have the real stat. Okay, then after that is your iron core. Okay, this one is an example for the diagram. You must add emitter. Because you want to measure the current. Okay, so from here, emitter, connected wire, serial stack. After that, the retest ton. Then the switch. That's a DC supply. We're using DC, yeah? Okay, soft iron core. Must have the soft iron core solenoid also. Then after that, small iron nail and plastic container. 
So this all thing that's important because you want to measure the manipulate variable and responding. So manipulate variable we got emitter and we'll start together. Responding. Responding you must say you're using soft iron core and also sorry not. Then how you go to attract we're using the pin. Something like not the pin, paper clip also can. Okay, something is metal and also lighter, easy to attract. Okay, so from here we can see the diagram. After draw, please label. Okay, proceed. First one is set up. Okay, number two. Number two, you must mention your emitter is how many? Manipulate variable. You mention your current, you want to how many? Before mention current one, how many? You need to switch on. Okay, if not, you cannot see the emitter reading. So from here, they say the, you must say switch on the power supply. Or you say the battery switch is closed. Okay, when you just close the reading of emitter, so you adjust the real start until reading of emitter 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, up to you. You go to set. Okay, after that, the end of the solenoid. Okay, you must dip into the plastic container. Then the plastic container must full with the iron nail. Okay, now the plastic container is removed. Okay. After the attract, you go to remove. Okay, now the number of the nail attract to the electromagnet is count. Uh, you see they attract how many you count. Okay, after that, now the experiment uh, attract how many it is, then you just count only. So drop how many, we don't know. No need to count. We just want to see the attract how many. Okay, now the experiment you repeated. Lah. So you repeated the experiment by increasing the current. So this one is a relationship between the strength of the magnetic field and also the current. So after that, you just repeat it four times. Okay, minimum is a four set. So you mention your current is how many. Okay, after that, <coughs> tablet data. They show you already 0 0.5 until 2.5. After that, it's uh, analyzing. Okay, you just draw the axis only. Okay, let's see the second experiment. Second experiment, actually, they just reverse the manipulate and also the constant variable. Now you see, investigate the relationship between the strength of the electromagnet, that means the magnetic field, and also number of turns of the solenoid. So now which one become constant? The current become constant. So from here, almost the same. Okay, almost the same. The diagram exactly the same. You need to draw this one, emitter and also the real state in the add inside the diagram. Okay, now the hypothesis. Okay, you just say as the number of turns of the solenoid increase, then what happened? The strength of the magnetic field also increase. So from here you change manipulate variable is a number of turn of the solenoid. So responding variable is still the same. The strength of the magnetic field. Okay, now constant variable become current. Okay, apparatus all should be the same. Okay, but you need to add is a uh, meter rule. Meter rule you don't need to add because we never say about the length. We just say the number of turn. So from here you don't need to put the meter rule. The parameter same as just now. Okay, now procedure still the same. You just write uh, the apparatus is set up. Okay, now you mention how many coins you want to use first. Okay, so you just mention uh, the, the number of turn is 20. Okay, then apply to the solenoid. So you just say number of turn is 20. Then you just wound at the solenoid now. Okay, then you say switch on. When just switch on, you must tell them, when you put the emitter and your stack is it, so you must tell them you're using how many current, you fix the current. So from here, you adjust the real start until the emitter, they show 0 0.5 ampere. So every time, when you ch change about the number of turns, the emitter will change this reading, is it? You make sure there's a 0 0.5 ampere. So that means I make the current become constant. Okay, now when you just adjust the real start, go current ready, then you continue. Okay, the end of the solenoid is deep into the plastic container. After that, uh, the plastic container is removed. Then you count again. How many nails they will attract to the, uh, the soft iron? Okay, that is the end. Okay, so you repeated, lah, repeated the experiment by increasing the number of turns of the solenoid. Just now 20, now 30, 40, 50, and 60.
Okay, so then we finish the experiment. Tablet data, now it's a number of turn and also the number of the iron name. Last, plot the axis. Okay, both also is a directly proportional. <coughs> Okay, so this one is a two experiment. They maybe will come out for this topic. Okay, now we need to see is an application for the electron magnet. Okay, we got four applications here. Okay, I need to explain one by one for the application. Okay, you can refer your diagram to see it. Because I got label, I show the label, follow the notes. Okay, I will label in the diagram. You can refer the label I show you now. After that, I'm going to explain one by one. Follow A until E. Okay, let's see the first one. Okay, the first one is the electric bell. Okay, so from here, you can refer the diagram A. Okay, A. When the switch is pressed, okay, I press the switch. Now you find the current that start to flow. When the current flow, the flow will go to where? Go to solenoid. When it just go to the solenoid, means now the coin and solenoid they will become the temporary magnet, is it? So we call it there's an electron magnet. Okay, so from here follow your notes. The A they say the current flow to the solenoid and the iron core is magnetized. So you refer the diagram, you go to write yourself. So I don't want you follow bullet bullet go to memorize the word. You see the diagram A, then you understood how you write the sentence. Okay, now we go to B. You find the B. B a label is a soft iron armature. B is a soft iron armature that attract to the electromagnet. Can you see the diagram when they become electromagnet at the A? Now the A is a magnet, so anything is a iron, they will attract. So what they attract now? They attract the soft iron armature. Okay, soft iron armature is joined together with the striker. Can you see one straight, they join with the striker. When I just attract soft iron armature, understood, the striker will move together. So that's a C. Now the hammer will strike the gong okay the striker they will strike the gong then ring the bell so you can listen the bell ring now at the same time you see the d okay i will label the d d is a contact okay contact actually they can open when a soft iron and matcher just attract to the electron magnet the contact will broken okay d they explain the contact the movement of the amateur break the contact and causes electromagnet to lose the magnetism. Can you see when I just pull the soft iron amateur closer with the electromagnet, the contact will open. When the contact just open means we don't have any current. Agree. So when I just open, that means I cannot join the electron magnet already. Lah. We don't have any current flow through the electron magnet. So finally, I find it. No current flow in the soft iron. Means the soft iron now, you are demagnetized. When you demagnetize, means you cannot become magnet. So you will release. Release what? You will release the soft iron amateur. When you just release a soft iron amateur, means now cannot hit the gong already. You don't have any sound. Soft iron amateur, they will go back to the contact. Then the contact will join again, is it? When they join again, means got current again. Now electron magnet start again, then you hit the gong again. So that means this one situation, then we repeat it. So that's why you can listen the sound. It's clean like this, like your school bell. So this one is electromagnet applied for the electric bell. Okay, until when? Until the situation I off all the current. So you cannot listen the sound. Okay, so this one is first application for the electric bell. Okay, where they will come out the question like this. This will come up for the essay question. Remember, they got one part is a process 
four mark. They call you to explain how the electric bell can be functioned by using the uh, electromagnetic. Uh, this topic lah, electromagnetic phenomena. So you need to explain one by one. So I call you to refer diagram, then create sentence by yourself. Okay. So this one is the first application. Okay, now we go to second one. Okay, I show you the diagram for second one. That's an electromagnetic relay. You, you also can see your notes diagram. Okay, we also refer A, B, C, D in the diagram to explain the function for each other. Okay, before that, we see the diagram. What is the function for the electromagnetic relay? There is a switching achieve is used to control they want to control switch or off another powerful circuit so that means relay switch function is they're using the one small switch maybe a little bit current after that they want to switch on another powerful current so this one situation is i no need using more voltage but finally i can switch on another switch become higher volt so how they produce a higher volt this come from the number of turn if i make the number of turn become stronger strength of the magnetic field become high is it so finally another output can produce strong of the circuit okay now we go how to explain one by one okay let's see the a when the switch is on okay the small current flow through the sorry not actually a and b before that the electric bell also the same okay we're using the same concept switch on small current flow through after that the solenoid will magnetize okay magnetize become electromagnet okay b after they become electromagnet they will attract the soft iron matcher can you see the soft iron and matcher? I label B. Okay, when I just attract the soft iron and matcher, then you can find it. This action make the other end. Can you see the other end of the soft iron and matcher? To push and close the contact. Before that, the contact is open. There's a C. C is open. When I just attract the soft iron and matcher, okay, they will push, they will push the contact closer. When they push the contact become closer, means the current will flow through to the second circuit. Okay, so that means I just off one switch, they can produce another current to another switch. So this one we call electromagnetic relay. So D is when you just switch off. So you find there's a no current and also soft iron core will demagnetize. So the soft iron amateur will return to its original position. Then the power full circuit that will be open. That means no more already. So this one is a, another application by using the electromagnet to the relay switch. So that means they want to produce another power circuit. Okay, now we go to the number three. There is a circuit breaker. You also can refer the diagram I show you and also in your notes. Okay, let's see the function for the circuit breaker. Okay, circuit breaker, there's a disconnect. The power supply when there's a too large current flow through the circuit so that means suddenly your house got too large current want to flow in so after that your whole house the electric they will off uh, because of circuit breaker they break out all the current in your house okay now we're going to see how come they can break up the current in your house let's see the a a also same uh, the current flow in but now the current is too large current Normal current is okay, but now they say when the current get too high, the magnetic field forces become strong to pull the soft iron. So that means when starting, when your current is low is okay, but suddenly too high, they produce a magnetic field force become strong. 
when they become strong they go to pull what they want to pull they want to pull the soft iron armature can you see the soft iron armature there's a hanging with the spring when they just pull the soft iron armature so you find it B the contact are separate okay when I just pull it so you find it the contact will automatic up okay you pull the spring you pull the soft iron to come down so after that you find it the contact will open by the spring at the C will pull the contact up the C yeah? spring pull open the contact okay when the C just pull open the contact can you see the reset button is together with the line of the main supply so when I just the spring C just pull the line pull the soft iron up so you find it they automatically you pull the button the button D up so that means now your house you can see on off they want the short circuit one they will automatic up so that means your whole school no current already so that one is every time happen in your school okay so now so the spring will pull open the contact D now you want to reset again now no current I want to on back what to do you need to press so okay you need to press the button to come down again so from here when the reset button just passes that just presses you just press the reset button to the spring queue okay the spring queue they will go back okay where's the spring queue the spring queue is a spring pull open the contact they will go down when they just go down pull the soft iron and match back to the original position okay so this one is a circuit breaker so they will happen when too large of current flow in so they will attract a matcher then a matcher at the same time they will broke the contact okay when the contact just broken they will let the reset button up so reset button just up that means no current in your house so when you want to on back you need to press the reset button to come down again join the contact then after that they will as a normal okay now we go to the last one last one is a telephone ear pieces okay you can see the diagram telephone ear pieces you also using electromagnet but this one we don't have any soft fire and matcher we don't need to attract you see how they function okay when the person just speak through the telephone multi-piece sound energy is chained to the varying of the current our sound we change become electric current okay let's see the a when the variant electric current flow through the soft iron core, then we magnetize. So our voice just send in, they become current. Then this one current will flow in the soft iron. After that, the soft iron will magnetize. It will become magnet. Okay, B. Now the electromagnet means the soft iron. They will pull diaphragm. Okay, now don't have any soft iron amateur. That's a diaphragm. When it just attract the diaphragm, the diaphragm will vibrate. How they vibrate? They vibrate follow our sound voice. Okay, our speaking frequency. So if you talk louder, that means the diaphragm will vibrate faster. Okay, or vibrate very big anchor. So that means they follow the frequency as the varying current. Our sound become current. So the diaphragm, they vibrate follow the current frequency okay d the vibration of the di diaphragm causes a series of the compression and refraction remember what we learned before the wave how the sound wave that can be sent they're true with the compression and also refraction of the air molecule so from here also same you must make something to vibrate now the vibration is a diaphragm diaphragm start to vibrate so so that means they can make the situation become produce a situation series of the compression and also refraction of the air molecule so finally the sound wave is produced <coughs> then the sound wave produced must be same frequency as the original sound so don't tell me when you're just talking through the phone you talk already but your friend cannot listen we are three minutes then baru can listen <clears throat> when you talk very fast don't tell me your friend is oh very slow they must same frequency as the original because our sound convert to the current already after that make the diaphragm to vibrate when the diaphragm just vibrate frequency exactly same like our sound then you bring to the air molecule disturb the air molecule by compression and refraction 
finally the body the sound wave that they can listen what is the sound okay so this one they also inside the phone they also got electro magnet okay and the last one is a function of the electromagnet we apply we apply as a electromagnetic leaf okay because something too heavy we cannot take out we're using this concept okay example electromagnet to use to lift the heavy iron material and move them from one place to another place so example here the crane is lift a very large of the electromagnet with the large number of the you want to lift the heavy object you must produce the strength of the magnetic field must be very hard so that's why you can lift something up okay now when the current just switch on the strong electromagnet is lower near to the car attract and pick it up so you near then you pick it just like the magnet to attract something b when the crane just move to the new location so the current is then switch off so you must make the crane go down after baru switch off don't tell me you just until there then you switch off then the whole car you broken fall down so from here the electromagnet when it just off eh? when it just off the current the electromagnet will lost okay when it just lost magnetism so the car they will drop onto the ground so means the soft iron core that can become the magnet they also can straightforward lost the magnet so that's why why we using soft iron core okay so finish to see all the diagram i show for you that one also maybe will come up for the essay question make sure you know how to using the electromagnetic magnetic field concept to explain this all application in our daily life okay so my lesson is until here for the chapter 3.1 then the following must be your tutorial question you just see tutorial 3.1 okay all the objective and the structure question you need to complete it then after that i will show you the coming lesson for the tutorial lesson okay so thank you for your watching okay study hard thank you